Lost by Carl Sandburg. I'm going to annotate the poem by Carl Sandburg. A few people missed the big idea. And remember, when you are reading certain types of poetry, you cannot take things for face value. There all there's always another underlying meaning to the poem. So please sit back and let's begin to pull back the layers of this poem. Now when we think about TP Cast, the first thing you tackle is the title. Can you predict what you think this poem will be about? So let's begin. Lost by Carl Sandburg. Looking at the title, I'm going to try to figure out what I think this poem is about. Um, does it really mean that a person is lost? That would be very literal. So let's see, maybe a lost soul, someone who is troubled. Um, I think of sadness. I don't think it really means that a person is lost or lost item. I don't know. This is just my initial prediction. And so after I read the poem, we can see if my prediction was close. Let's begin. <clears throat> Desolate and lone hmm the a is missing desolate meaning empty um abandoned maybe and remember if you do not know a word look it up in a dictionary because with a short poem like this you don't want to miss anything desolate and alone so maybe some person is alone and perhaps the author left off the A on purpose alone hmm. um, alone I don't really have much in and deserted environment hmm. alone desolate and alone all night long on a lake on a lake alone with nature water the fluid Water, um, it's fluid flows. Okay. All night long on the lake where fog and mist creeps. Where fog trails and mist creeps. The tone is actually kind of creepy right now. The author's tone is almost sounds like it's scary. Something very scary. And when I think of fog and mist, okay, I think of something that is unclear, um, lack of vision. See, I'm pulling back the layers. So a fog trail, they can't see, they're alone, and perhaps, um, they're, they can't see, um, they're blocked. I don't know. The whistle of a boat calls and cries unendingly. So now they're giving the whistle of a boat calls and cries. So now they're giving life, human characteristics to the boat. So that's personification. That figurative language is personification. Okay. Um, the b 
boat is making a lot of noise non-stop unendingly non-stop and if someone is whistling a boat and calls and cries that can also be a sign of urgency okay it could be fear okay and looking back at the title maybe they're alone they're scared they're lost okay so the whistle of a boat calls and cries unendingly like some lost child so now we have a simile figurative language being used now is simile they're comparing the boat to some lost child who's in, in tears and trouble so they're comparing the boat to a lost child okay still so they're giving human characteristics more human characteristics to the boat now the boat um, has a mood the boat is sad okay into hunting when you think of hunting you think of searching for something for something okay hunting the harbor's breast now I know that a boat goes to the harbor so hunting for the harbor's breast but they compared the boat to a child and a child may cry if they want the milk of a mother's breast or from the mother's breast so there's a need therefore the boat needs the harbor like a child needs its mother for sustenance, for milk, for survival. Okay, the boat is in search and in need for the harbor. like a child who needs its mother's milk. Both have a need, okay? And the harbor's eyes. So I think the eyes could be that could be light. That could be warmth of a mother's longing look as she nurses her baby. It could be interpreted different ways, but the need is still there. So therefore, the harbor needs its, um, therefore, the boat needs the harbor. And that need could be for refueling. It could be for repairs, restocking, changing out the water, and just basic survival things that you would need to maintain your boat. But you do it at the harbor where they'll dock. And the eyes. Now if the boat cannot see due to the mist and the fog. Therefore they're in search of the eyes of the harbor. Which could also be lights. Could be a lighthouse. But we do know that the boat is now lost. And in search of the harbor. Because there's a need, like a child needs its mother. And the milk 
that she produces to nurture. I hope that makes sense. We had to pull back the layers to really understand what was going on in this poem. Again, as a reminder, with poetry, you cannot take it for face value. You have to pull back those layers and figure out what is the author saying? What imagery is created in the mind? I saw a baby nursing. I saw, I could visually see the fog and the boat and there's a panic there. Now the overall theme, the message that I get from this poem. Now your theme may be something different from mine. But what I get here, the thing, the tone, actually, let me go back to the tone. The tone are the words that the author uses to um, convey his meaning. The tone I got from this is actually hopeful. You may see something totally different. I think the tone and the words he used was hopeful. And the words I'm choosing for that, unendingly, hunting. Now, I say that it's hopeful because when I look at the theme and think of the theme and a life lesson, the message of this poem is that when you are lost or when something is bothering or when you have a goal, because the goal was to get back to the harbor, that was the goal, don't give up. You keep fighting, you keep going on because there's hope and there's light at the end of the tunnel. As I said here, there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel. Now, if you continue to hunt and search for that goal or that dream and you don't give up, Nine times out of ten, you will succeed. So I looked at this poem as a positive thing, not sad, but with that will to persevere when you're faced with the odds that are stacked against you to keep pushing forward and never give up. So take heed to the message that Carl Sandberg is trying to promote here and feed you. Don't give up when things get hard or when life knocks you down. You get back up and you keep hunting and seeking and searching and working towards your goal. Lost by Carl Sandburg.